My name is Mark Hanawalt. Um, I am the president and CEO of United Equipment Accessories. Um, we are a second generation family uh, company that uh, is involved in the manufacturing business, primarily of electromechanical components. Um, these electromechanical components are used throughout the world, primarily in heavy duty applications such as construction equipment, forestry, utility, and uh, intelligent machinery, things like that, that uh, usually are in some type of motion, and our, our motion is rotary. And uh, lately we have gotten a fair amount of notoriety for our involvement in the wind industry, which is very popular here in Iowa. Currently, uh, we are at an employment uh, level of around 90 people. Um, we typically employ people from uh, a high school grade level or a high school graduate uh, uh, level because we will not uh, accept anyone who doesn't at least have a high school diploma or a GED. And then we, um, our skill level typically goes up to the range of uh, a master's level in, in some areas in the country. So. Um, very broad range of, of skills needed, and uh, um, we, we typically, in, on the higher skill level, are looking for CNC machinists, um, engineering, we're a very engineering-driven company, so um, we uh, recruit heavily out of Iowa State and uh, the UNI Technology Center. The, the skill sets that we're, we're looking for uh, specifically are um, attention to detail. That somebody can read a print, read a set of work instructions, um, be able to logically follow through that step of instructions, um, remember what they've done, progress through, and, and, and culminate that, that process. That's the basic skill set that we're looking for. Um, we're also looking for communication skills because everything that we do here is um, cooperative with another individual. So in lean manufacturing, you are, uh, which is a, a very typical process that we're trying to do with all of our product lines, you are taking one process and handing it off to the next process, but it's important that you communicate to that next individual what you've done or what this next person should be looking for. Um, so communication is, is, is very important. And um, um, I would say that obviously comprehension of what you're reading is, is critically important. That um, you have to be able to read whatever is printed as far as a process or work instruction um, and, and be able to um, internalize that and, uh, and use that in, in, in your work. When we look at a resume, um, what you're typically looking for is experience um, outside of the, the college diploma, the, the high school diploma, whatever it may be. Um, that, that and the, the internships that people have had are, are the most critical for us in, in what they have done. It's very important to also tell us um, how they did or what their responsibilities were in their previous positions because that may in in some light say oh we can see that there are very good critical thinking skills here there are, is obvious attention to detail the thing that is will potentially not uh, be a positive on a resume is um, multi jobs in a short period of time um, you with the the latest generation, you don't expect that they're going to work for you for a lifetime. By the same token, you're looking for a commitment of, of two years plus in any, uh, any job that they've had. And um, so the, one of the things that, that we also look for, uh, that I alluded to a little bit before, was the critical thinking skills. It's, it's, and it's, it's hard to quantify this, but to, to have a person be able to contribute to a work environment that can think outside of the box of what they're currently doing is highly, highly beneficial. And it is something that is 
unfortunately, um, more rare than it is common. And it's one of the reasons I have a bias toward a liberal arts education on a college level because I feel that that, rather than hone you into a specific skill for a specific job, it allows you to uh, view the world in a much more broad spectrum. I don't think, for instance, history is a subject that I learn to recant historical dates and facts. I look at history to internalize and analyze for what can I expect in the future because of what's happened in the past. So someone who thinks like that with critical thinking skills is somebody that is everybody on your platform going to be that way? No. But the more people that we can bring in like that, the more um, energized and creative atmosphere we will have uh, as, as a uh, culture here in our, in our company. Obviously, basic skills are very important. Mathematics, um, I can't overemphasize enough because mathematics is, is a foundation for um, so many, so many areas, in, in our particular area, it's, it's engineering. And engineering is a, is a critical skill for us. We're highly uh, engineering intensive. Uh, but it also applies to things like information technology and how to, how to analyze and process um, thoughts and, and, and actions. Um, reading is a, is a critical skill um, and, 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 and overall comprehension. I think anything, uh, one re reason that I like extracurricular activities uh, is because it, it fosters collaboration. And anytime you're in a band or you're in a football team or you're on a basketball team or you're in a play, um, those types of events um, make your son or daughter um, get along with people better and work with them. So there is no downside to having uh, extracurricular activities. And the final thing I think I'd probably say is that one of the tragedies that I think is happening in our school systems is the lack of foreign language. Um, we as Americans have an arrogance that, that English um, is the only language. And for somebody who is not multilingual like myself, and, but wishes I were, um, it makes things certainly easier at times that English is so broadly uh, used. But um, if there was one language I would say everyone should know in high school in the state of Iowa, it should be Spanish. And um, so I, I hope that, you know, whether it's Spanish or any of the other romantic languages, that that is, that is a, a segment of our curriculum that never gets lost. Because as, when you travel internationally like I do, and you do business on a global basis like uh, we do, um, uh, being able to converse even in the smallest amount with somebody in a foreign country is so, so highly appreciated. And that ugly American all of a sudden becomes uh, a very attractive American to them. So um, as part of being a global company, um, being able to be a more global individual is, is quite important. You know, there's a lot of discussion in this world about um, accountability and test scores and um, things like that. And I do think that accountability is important. Um, and I think because I'm in a business environment and that we measure things here, things in all environments can be measured in some way. But they have to be used in a rational use. And by that I mean they're, they're used as a, a guide, that if you feel that as a general, general trend that you could be, form, be performing better in mathematics in a certain school system, that's what you should be looking at. It's not so much what um, your son or daughter gets on an ACT score, although that can help you with college education, I realize, from, from uh, but it is always not uh, a strong indication of success and it the the measurements that are used um, um, should be primarily as guidelines and helping teachers do their job better because that's one thing I have heard a lot in the last five years that 
the bottom line is the teacher is the most important part of the school. It's not technology, it's not the facility, it really is the teacher. So we need to make sure that we have the right people on the bus doing the best job that they possibly can uh, to help uh, make our kids world class.